Okay, this is Obesity Fritzel, and I'm here as Bad Kid FX. Um, I'm doing my first, uh, my first tutorial for, uh, what's it? My first tutorial for this channel here, as you can see, it's called Vicarious Real. Uh, it's a new thing, and this is my channel here. Okay. I want to show you this too. I want to show you this channel. It's called I Obesity Gaming, and I really would appreciate it if you subscribe because they're a very good clan. And even though I win, and I should say that they're actually really good, so just appreciate it if you subscribed just while it's up there. Okay, so I got the Adobe Master Collection CS4, as you can see here, and here, all these, so many of them. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to show you how you make a simple uh, drop down menu in Fireworks, not Dreamweaver. A drop down menu for your uh, website if you want to make one. I just thought it might be helpful because I just got into a computer, I don't have much editing software. So I'm going to pick a simple one. I'm just going to pick 1500 and about 200. Well, Nah, about 250. That'll be okay. We're just gonna do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick because it'll take too long for me to make one. I'm just gonna pick something out of the common library, which is where they basically give you free uh, menu bars and buttons. So I'm gonna pick this one. There you go. Okay, so this one here, as you can see, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna double click. That makes you go to the editing mode, you can see all the little bits here. So I'm going to click on this bit here. Because this is from the menu bar, I'm going to have to control C, copy it, and then I'm going to edit and I'm going to cut it. Okay, so and then you're going to hit control V so it's back. Now it's editable. Like you could change the color of it. So now I'm going to hit control V again. Hit that. Light it up for products. Control V again. Take it, right up with events, and control V again, and right up with solutions. Okay, now if you want to edit the actual uh, words that are in, in the text, it's very simple. You just go to this text and you go into this, and you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to change it to gaming. That's perfect, as you can see. And you can change it down here, you can change all the size of it. So if I want to change that to size 16, just click that and enter and size 16. Okay, so then I go back into the pointer tool and I start doing my rollover effects. Uh, if you want to do rollover effects, it's fairly simple. You can actually you should just make a duplicate state down here and duplicate state, and you get this, you can select all of this. Control C, copy, go down, Control V into here, right? I'm only going to change something small because I don't have much time, but I'm just going to make the outer rim of this white. So I'm going to do the same with all these. So I'm just going to hit the white. I'm going to do white again. And I'm going to go white again. Oh, hit red. Okay, so I'm going to go white. Alright, okay. So now what that does is, uh, I'll show you in a minute, I haven't done it yet, but that's going to be what it's going to look like if I was to hover over. So I'm going to go back to your first state and I'm going to hit slice tool. Now I'm going to make sure I select the whole button. Actually that's, that's pretty bad, slice tool. So I'll do slice tool and I'm going to make sure I select all of it because it won't all change if I don't. So select the whole thing. On all these, with slice tool. Very important. Slice tool. Okay, now you're gonna go back into your pointer tool, and you're gonna double click. And you're gonna go into add simple rule over behavior, add simple rule over behavior, add simple rule over behavior, and add simple rule over behavior. Then you're gonna preview by hitting F12, and even just go on preview, preview Chrome. Okay. And you can see as I hover over it, all this. 
see they change so it gives a pretty professional look if you want a website all right okay so um now i want to make a drop down menu so this is fairly simple you just go back into your first one double click you want to go so say i want to make one for gaming so you say add pop-up menu and you go uh so i'm going to put in ishkabab i'm going to put in disco predator i'm going to put in viper uh, zykes and fritzel right okay so then i'm going to go you can go to appearance and you can change the cell look i'm not going to do much you can do this all yourself it's fairly self-explanatory if you have any brains and you go water like water whatever you know it's fairly simple positioning now you can choose the position yourself i prefer to have it under to the bit to the left it looks pretty professional you can have it under a bit to the, to the right but i prefer it this way so you are done you can even as you can see the canvas isn't big enough so you click on the canvas canvas size make it a bit bigger i'm going to make it 270 it should fit hit okay still doesn't fit okay so i'm going to go i'm just going to do go over the 300 there okay so that's fine yeah that fits all right so as you can see that's fine so i'm going to go and i'm going to go and i'm going to hit I'm going to file, preview and browse. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back now and under this. You want to go preview and browser, preview and chrome. You can see I go over that and it all changes as I go down. And that is how you make a fairly easy and simple and professional looking drop down menu in Fireworks. People, I find it easier to do in Fireworks. Most people like to do it in. Um, in Dreamweaver, but I like fireworks. But there is another thing I have to show you, and that is the link, right? So, say if I was to click on, if I wanted to click on this, I want to go to, I want to go to YouTube. So, type in youtube.com. Right, okay. So then you hit enter, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna fire premium browser right. so I go into that click on it and you can see it just came up like that because it's not on the internet but uh, basically you can link it to whatever you can link it to um, you can link it to whatever website like by your website you wanted to go to and in Dreamweaver it's more complicated you have to go into all the Java which I find very annoying so basically that's what all I wanted to show you as a first uh, first tutorial but usually most people only get only get to show you the road over and then the menu bar but I got to show you the both in one tutorial so I hope this is helpful if you are making a website. I will be posting some Vegas, some uh, After Effects and I'll be showing you some more of the Master Collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, this is Obesity Fritzel and I'm out. Oh yeah, and make sure to listen to my commentaries and subscribe to me because I need subscribers for the motivation. Alright, thank guys.